It's time for Sarah Haynes, ladies and gentlemen. Good morning. Yes, it is. T minus three stories to Pina. Nice. That's a heads up. Teaser. <laughs> Beyonce is heading back to HBO starting next Sunday. The network will air 10 or 10 four minute segments of her concerts ahead of the show True Blood. The segments are from Beyonce's Mrs. Carter World Tour, which actually wrapped in March, and she starts a new tour with hubby Jay-Z next week, which will be amazing, the two of them together. And a major case of girl power at Hillary Clinton's latest book signing. Look who stopped by the reception before her event in Los Angeles. Yep, that's Katy Perry. She was excited enough to share this Instagram photo with fans and even wrote a message saying, I told Hillary Clinton that I would write her a theme song wow, if she needs wow. it, but I think Roar will do. I, I agree. Don't you agree? That might be the tipping point. Once Hillary gets an offer like that, she may just throw her hat in the ring. At that point, I would run. If I get a theme song? Come on. And tonight's the big premiere of ABC's Rising Star, the show that revolutionizes the singing competition. The audience has the final say on who advances in real time by voting on an app, a concept that's dramatically different from what we've seen so far in other shows. Check it out. What makes Rising Star a game changer? This. Only you can raise the wall to create a star. The faces of the voters appear on the giant wall, and maybe your face is one of them. TV's first live interactive music competition where you can make or break dreams in an instant. Instant results. Instant fame. We're not the judges. You are. Now, I downloaded the app. You can see it here. So make sure you do, too, because that's the only way you can vote. And you can actually see yourself and your vote on TV. Once again, it all starts tonight at 9, 8 central. And now it's time for our big moment. A brand new celebrity right here in our studio. Meet Peanut, the newly crowned world's ugliest dog, which I just think is silly. The two-year-old is a mutt, which I like to compare to a swirl ice cream cone. Why have one flavor when you can have more? And behind all that wild hair, those bulging little eyes, and the perma smile is a sweet and energetic little guy. His owner, Holly Chandler, says she hopes the win will raise awareness, which is so important about animal abuse since Peanut was actually abused as a pup. It's a great, great thing that Holly, who's standing right over there, is doing, and she won $1,500 when yeah. Peanut took home the world's ugliest dog uh, uh, prize, and she's using that money to help treat other animals who've been abused. Yeah, and she has some other dogs at home, but she knew this little guy, when she discovered him, needed her, and so she's added it to her little litter. Peanut just woke up. He fell asleep yeah. here earlier in the show, so he just he said, woke up. He's got a little shirt on that says, I don't bite. <laughs> and with a look on this face, this is one of the sweetest little dogs. We also actually asked our viewers, though, to send us some photos of dogs with unique faces. That's the little tweak I'd like to add. Erica Caldwell oh. sent us Archie, Hi, who's 10 years so old now. Yeah, they look alike. Yeah. Jessica Sapp sent us Bronx, the English Bulldog. Nice. I love these teeth. Oh, yeah. Tracy Tisdale Wolashin sent us seven-year-old Isabella. And Lonica Furness says Grizzly watches GMA every morning with her. Look, Peanut. We love you, Grizzly. We love all of you. Look, you so Peanut. cute, Peanut. Peanut is very sweet. Yes. And very when you see sweet. it, even cuter in person. <laughs> <laughs> right? He's shaking a little bit because it's cold in here. Cold. He is cold. I'm he's, scary. He's been a really good sport. Had a long flight from California, and he put it up, put up with it all terrifically, and he's sending a great message.